after the um, witness protection program and all of that, all right, when the um, the stress um, reared its ugly head, so to speak. I was in uh, Aurora, Colorado, living with Susie, and went to the VA because at that point I was doing so much alcohol that, I mean, Alcohol poisoning at that point was like a two-day-a-week ordeal. All right. um, at that point, she came to me and said, just get in the car. She said, I'm not putting up with this no more. Get in the car. And I got in the car. And... She drove me to the VA outpatient clinic in Las Vegas. Um, they saw what a basket case I was at that point, and they admitted me to the hospital at Nellis Air Force Base, where they were detoxing and stuff like that. But then all of a sudden, whammo, I was on this medication. And the VA has a tendency to, in their mental health clinic, you go and the psychiatrist just asks you, he says, how's the medication doing? And you say, well, you know, I feel a little this, I feel a little that. Okay, we're going to change it. We're going to put you on this. We're going to put you on this. We're going to put you on this. Before I knew it, I was on 19 medications. 19 pills a day. All right? To the point where, and I'm sure in your interview with Susie, she'll reaffirm it. Where I was putting food in my mouth and just drooling it back out of my mouth. I couldn't swallow. I couldn't. I couldn't perform as a functioning human being. Not because now of the war, but because of the medication. To the VA at that point, in, in, at that time, I think they were really using us as guinea pigs. And I don't say that as a bad thing. What I say is that they didn't know what they were doing. So they had to try to see how you were going to react to this and this and this and this and this. And the post-traumatic stress disorder... What I found out, and today, I take two pills for high blood pressure and some medication to sleep, and that's it. You know? Because what I did learn was the nightmares, they're always going to be there. That's going to be a constant. no matter how many drugs they give you, those are always going to be there because when the drugs wear off, the horrors are always going to be there. So you got to learn to live with the horrors. So now, after 25 years, that's what I learned to live with. I take my blood pressure medicine because I have high blood pressure. And I take my sleep medicine to sleep, and I'll sleep five, six hours a night with my trazodone hydrochloride, and that's fine. We all, Vietnam veterans, have to live 
with not only the horror of the war that we fought, we have to live with the horror of the American public and its reaction to that war as to when we came home. I seriously believe that we wouldn't have as many Vietnam veterans with the extent of post-traumatic stress disorder as we do if we were welcomed home like the World War II vets were, like the Korean War with, you know, vets, um, the Desert Storm guys, you know. I don't think we would have that in our heads other than the way the American people treated us. No. So, that's post-traumatic stress disorder. We'll live with it forever. But I think we've learned to kind of go to bed with it, so to speak.